So I've just landed back in New Zealand. I've been overseas for the last two months and every year, apart from the two years off with COVID, I go to Mongolia. And I think everyone always asks me why I go there. And for me, it was the horses that drew me there. You know, I've had this career that's over a decade of working with wild horses and kind of halfway through this, I wanted to go and see horses in other places, look at other ways of training them. So back in 2013, I entered the Mongol Derby, which is the world's longest and toughest horse race. It's a thousand kilometer horse race across Mongolia. And from the moment I landed in the country, I loved it. And quite quickly, what I found is it wasn't just the horses. Over there, they have a life with other livestock, other ridden livestock. So the camels in the desert, they have the last place on earth where they actually ride reindeer on the mountaintops. They work with yaks and ride yaks. And of course, they just cross the country on horseback. I mean, Genghis Khan was famous for his horseback arches, these fast moving arches and warriors that conquered the biggest empire the world has ever seen. Now, when people ask, oh, you know, what are you doing in Mongolia? Why are you on camels? It's always to kind of bring back or keep looking at the way we work with animals and a life with animals and what we can learn and bring back here to the wild horse training. The Mongolian horses are just so special to me. I mean, every time I think about them, I think of the freedom that being on a horse means. But I think it's because they are so different to the horses we have here. Um, even though there's technically not really any wild horses in Mongolia, they seem so much more, I guess, untamed and unchanged since time began, since our journey with horses began as, as humankind. Um, these horses survive winters below negative 40. They survive incredibly hot summers and they have a strength and an endurance that is like nothing else on earth. Um, as far as looks, they're not huge. You know, they're not gonna be over 15 hands. And I would say the majority are between 13-2 and 14-2 hands. They have a huge chest on them. Um, they are built to run and they're built for endurance. 30 kilometers at a canter without stopping is nothing to a Mongolian horse. And I think even my best wild horses here in New Zealand would take a lot of uh, conditioning and fitness to get to that point. And so I think it's this magical feeling of I guess horses in its rawest and purest form. Um, and they come in every color you can imagine. They come in every coat color. They come in every eye color. They come in every marking. I mean, there's some markings and coat patterns that you see in Mongolia that I've never seen in any breed of horse anywhere else in the world. And I think, I think to me, it's like magic. If, if, you know, like if I had a religion, my church would be in Mongolia amongst these herds of wild horses. Like I just, love it um, and every time it kind of shapes and refines my picture or what I know and what I think about what a horse truly is. <laughs>